All right, now looking at the title of this video, guys might be like, oh, I've seen so many of these in the past. Why are you now making one? Well, I'm here to give you guys some tips from my personal experience, from my struggle to actually get out of silver and to get where I am now, which is actually Gold Nova 3. So I'm gonna show you guys how I went from Silver Elite Master all the way to Gold Nova 3 in a period of just about two and a half weeks. So let's get right into it. So this video is gonna be a lot of just me talking. So I'm gonna overlay it with some deathmatch gameplay. But basically there was a couple of strategies I used to help get myself from silver to Nova. Now, if you guys have been watching me for a little while, you'll know that I used to be silver and I was actually silver for a really long time. Back when I started making CSGO videos on this channel, which I didn't make very many of, but when I did make them, I was probably silver one, silver two, starting somewhere around there when I was first playing CSGO. And I was there for a really long time. And I would say that was probably about a year and a half, two years ago. And then about six months ago, I got up to silver elite, silver elite master. And I was around there for a really long time. In fact, I was about to rank up to Nova Level one so many times I lost count because I would always lose that last game now the deal with silver as you guys probably know silver is very unpredictable you'll have silver smurfs being put up on the opposite team and you'll get stuck on a team with people who truly don't know how to play but got ranked way too well and I can't tell you guys how many times this has happened to me and honestly you guys have to just push through part of it but these are some tips that will help you guys get through this a lot easier. In fact, maybe even not have to deal with it like I did. Now, the first tip is win as many games as you can in a row. And I know sometimes that's not possible, but the goal is to win as many games as you can in a row. The CSGO ranking system not only does it look at how many games you win in a row, but also if you've top fragged them. So that comes to my second tip. Make sure you guys are trying to top frag every single game. If you're constantly top fragging, it's going to tell the CSGO ranking system that you are a good player and you can be put up with people in the next rank above you or maybe even two ranks above you to help you rank up even faster. Even if you lose a game, top fragging in a losing game versus maybe middle fragging or bottom fragging in a losing game is going to tell CSGO that you're still ready to rank up and it's not going to take basically as many games more as you would need to win to rank up as it, as it would be if you lost a game bottom fragging. Now, now again, to try to win as many games as you can, this brings me to my third tip, which is play with people you know who are good. Like play with people who you know are very good at the game, have good game sense, good aim, all of the above. If you can find people who you can consistently play with who are good, whether they carry you or not and make you win over and over and over, it will rank you up eventually. Not as quickly as if you're winning every game top fragging yourself, but if you win eight games in a row, you could go up possibly two ranks, which is really good. Now, the way the CSGO ranking system works is like I said, it looks at how well you play each game, not only winning, but by top fragging. If you're consistently winning, but you're bottom fragging, it's gonna take a lot more wins to rank up than it would to be if you were top fragging every game you play and winning most of them. You can still lose a game every once in a while. Like you can win, win three, lose one, win two, lose one. Go on a pattern like that, you will still rank up. You won't stay stuck where you are, but you have to be very consistent about being top fragging. If you're consistently top fragging, tell CSGO that you are good, you can rank up and you can play with better people. Now, like I said, the silver ranks are very unfair in the instance that the CSGO algorithm does not really place everyone correctly in silver, and it can be very hard to get out of because you have people who were maybe high Nova playing silver one because they didn't play the game for six months and got placed in silver one. And sometimes it is hard to win those games, and that's why you will lose one every once in a while, if, even if you're a good player, even if you're constantly top fragging and you can hit all of your shots. You just really have to be patient with it. And like I said, if you follow these couple of tips I'm giving, you play with people who you know are good, you constantly try your best to win every game and you are top fragging every game, win or lose, you will be guaranteed to rank up soon. Silver is very hard and I can tell you guys it took so long to get out of silver mainly because of people I was playing with, the people who were against me and the people who were playing with me. And I can also tell you guys once you get into Nova 1, it makes a massive difference. And I know some people who are even above Nova might argue with me about this, but being in Nova is a massive difference compared to Silver, especially if you've been stuck in Silver for a long time. You're gonna finally get paired with players who can hit a lot more shots than they would in, than normal players would in Silver, and they're gonna know the game a lot more than they would in Silver. And that, guys, are basically some of my tips and tricks on how you guys can get from Silver to Nova. And I know, again, a lot of this is gonna be repeated, but you really do have to consider this. There is no easy way. You can't just suddenly get good. You do have to be consistent, not just in one place, but in multiple different places. Make sure you guys always Please warm up a little bit before you go into your first competitive game. Make sure you guys are playing maps that you know the callouts for and that you know well. If you don't know smokes, for example, or you don't know callouts on a map but you want to play the map, I highly suggest you go and you watch some video tutorials on each of those maps that you want to play before actually going and playing. Because you also have to consider if you go to a, if you say go play Vertigo and you don't know any of the callouts or any of the smokes or any of the very strategic 
things you need to know. You're gonna not only lose the game for yourself, but you're also gonna make more people who are in the same place as you lose because you were the one holding everyone back. So make sure you're not that person and you know the basic stuff you need to know. That's also another tip. But anyway, guys, I hope this video helps you guys out. I hope some of these tips and tricks will help some of you guys and that some of you guys will actually use them. And uh, yeah, also, if you guys are new, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and like if this video helped. And yeah, I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.